Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So sorry it's been a hot minute since I posted. I left you about two weeks ago. There's been a lot that's been happening. So today I'd just like to fill you in on everything that's going on. Okay, so last time we talked, we were headed to Arizona for an interview with the railroad down there. We had an offer on the table from Wyoming. And then I also had some exciting news because I was about to partake in my first interview. Uh, with a company that I would be super, super psyched to work for. So let's start off with Arizona. I mentioned in the past video that there were things with this railroad that were giving us pause, namely their flakiness, their inconsistency, and just some strange instances where they would just go completely MIA. So they came in at the last minute, offered to fly me and my husband down to check out the railroad, check, check out the area, which I thought was very generous that they paid for that trip. However, the minute we landed in Phoenix, the flakiness started to present itself again. I'm not going to go into all the gory details, but you know, like when there are already red flags present in a circumstance, you're kind of weighing everything from that perspective, right? Like obviously giving people the benefit of the doubt, but keeping in the back of your mind, okay, this is starting to become a pattern of behavior. And like I said, flakiness for sure, unorganized, things at times felt a little chaotic and definitely um, a lot of disorder. That being said, we get to the area which is absolutely gorgeous i mean sun on our shoulders which i had forgotten what it felt like to be in warm weather so that was encouraging so i dropped my husband off he had a great interview it lasted about like two and a half hours um so you know he was feeling encouraged at the end of the interview which was on a friday they told him by monday you'll hear from us with an answer monday came and went nothing from them Tuesday, Wednesday, nothing. Thursday, he gets a text saying that, I'm sorry, he did get a call saying that they had one more candidate to interview. And then once that interview was complete, they were gonna all like get together, talk to the owner, hash things out, make a decision by that Monday, which we were like, okay, that's fair. Monday comes, nothing. Tuesday, nothing. Wednesday, nothing. Thursday, nothing so at this point in my mind i'm thinking okay this reminds me of when you're dating like a bad boy right like he's super sexy and he's really fun and everything looks exciting and he keeps promising that he's going to behave and he never does now despite all this going on one of the reasons why we decided to entertain the interview in the first place is this job was better pay um, pretty substantially. It would have been a step up in my husband's career, great match for his skill set. He absolutely would have excelled in this position. And then also this railroad offers railroad retirement, meaning pension. So I should have mentioned in previous videos, one of the reasons why my husband wants to stay in the railroad industry is that his pension is tied to the railroad. Certain railroads also pay into your pension other railroads do not um so obviously that's something to take into consideration so while we're kind of like hanging in the balance here um the offer from the wyoming railroad is still in good standing my husband has been very proactive talking to his contact there who has been super cool super understanding very gracious at this point because this is about a month past when he interviewed with them and they have a really good rapport there's been a lot of honest conversations there and i find that to be very encouraging the drawback with the wyoming gig why we haven't just jumped on it is it would be a substantial pay cut um it would be technically a couple steps down in terms of the position that my husband was doing and then this railroad does not pay into the uh pension in the meantime I come back from Arizona a day later and I am so sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm very nasally still. In fact, there's fluid in my ear. I have about 75% hearing loss in my left ear right now. So keep that in prayer. I'm definitely improving. 
That sickness, I don't know what it was. The doctor at urgent care had no idea what it is or was, um, but it was probably the sickest I have ever been. So, you know, it's like I'm weighing the fact that I got plagued with disease on this trip and then taking into consideration that this company has gone MIA literally for like the third time now. And then also just wondering like, what is even happening with them? So then this past Wednesday at 8.30 in the morning, I had just logged in to work. I get this very strange email inviting me and two of my colleagues into a meeting with HR and the head of our department, like the big head honcho. Um, and the email was titled like business update. And at first it didn't really register. <laughs> And because I'm such an optimistic person, I was like, oh, maybe they're like announcing this really fun project that, are, that they're putting us on. And then reality started to sink in like, well, HR wouldn't be on that call. They basically said, um, yeah, so this new department that you're working under requires everybody to be full time. We need everybody to be full time. And because you three are only part time, we're terminating your position. <laughs> it was like, what? Like the logical sequence of that conversation would have been, we want everybody to be full time. Here's an invitation to be full time, right? So in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I, I've expressed to you all before that I wasn't happy with the job anyway. To me, it was almost like this really interesting blessing in disguise because I kid you not, the day before, like literally 24 hours before I had logged in, I was doing this mundane work I've been telling you guys about, this just like soul sucking, mind numbing work. And I audibly said to God, get me out of here. And within 24 hours, he was like, okay, kid, you got it. Um, which was kind of funny because it was like, okay, to me, I'm viewing this as like this really cool answer to prayer. Like, dang, Lord, why can't you work that fast <laughs> with all of my prayer requests? Um, the silver lining is that the job's not going to terminate until June 24th. And they're actually giving us a severance. It's a modest severance, but I appreciate the fact that they're doing that nonetheless. The other reason why, obviously, I'm not like heart sick over this announcement and my current job is because, as I mentioned in the beginning, I have been going on consistent interviews now with this other company, which I'm so excited about. I really, really hope I get this job. There'd be a lot of creativity related to this job, which is right up my alley. Um, I did have the first interview past that. We went through a second interview, which was more of like a, um, like a creative test he had me do, which I passed with flying colors. He was super positive about the feedback. And then yesterday we had our third interview um, through a Zoom call. I'm assuming that's the final. Um, it was supposed to last 20 minutes. It lasted an hour. So I'm definitely hopeful um, that this is something that's going to work out. So I'm filming this on a Friday. A couple hours ago, we finally heard back from Arizona. They decided ultimately not to even fill the position like at all, which is so strange to me. Um, but again, it's just kind of fitting with the whole experience with them. Like I said, flakiness um, inconsistency. So, you know, to me, it's, I think we dodged a bullet there in terms of how we are taking the news. I think it's two different perspectives. My husband's very dejected right now. He's very frustrated. Um, and I totally get it. You know, you're grateful for the opportunity that lies in Wyoming, but you know, his state of mind right now is I am 51 years old. I should be moving up the ladder, not down the ladder. I should be getting more pay, not less pay. Um, and I get that. I feel that I've been there. Um, and that can be a frustrating and, you know, disappointing place to be. However, to me, I view this as like a slingshot move, right? Like, yes, you're being pulled back initially, for whatever reason God has, but then that's in preparation to like ping you forward. And I have absolute confidence in that. Um, I'm being careful how I convey that to my husband. Like I have said that to him, but I don't want to be too like, 
rah, rah, shish, kum, ba, like everything's great. This is going to work out perfectly because that's annoying. You know, sometimes you just need a minute to marinate in the frustration, in the disappointment before somebody's like, <laughs> you know, jumping up and down, cheerleading next to you. So I'm giving him that space. And while this might not be the dream income that you're making at this point, to me, it's almost more about the company you're working for, right? Wyoming has been like, if you want to use the analogy of dating good boy, bad boy, Wyoming has been the good, nice guy from the beginning. Um, super consistent, reliable, gracious, understanding, honest, if they say they're going to do something, they do it. If they say they're going to call, they call. If they say they're going to email, they email. You know, Arizona was the antithesis of that. And I think that's telling because at some point you have to say, like, if an offer had come in from Arizona, let's say it would have been, you know, a great deal of money more. At the end of the day, is it worth it? Because it's like, what's the trade off here? You know, what am I getting into? And also just taking into consideration the prayer that I have asked God for, you know, that if Arizona isn't the place for us, don't even put an offer on the table. The fact that he answered that prayer gives me even more confidence that he is absolutely directing our steps. I've mentioned before, my husband doesn't share my faith, so he doesn't necessarily know to ask God for wisdom or direction, but just that fact, how God answered my prayer gives me the confidence that yes, God is leading him. He is directing his steps. And I think that is just so sweet. And that makes me just love God so much more. I mentioned in, I think it was last, the last video that this devotion from Lisa Turkhurst called Embraced has been like oh, speaking to my heart. And I thought this was interesting. Her devotion I think it was two days ago, was talking about three things to remember when you get rejected. And obviously the gig with Arizona, the way it turned out is a rejection of sorts. But this I thought was compelling. She said, the first thing you need to remember is that one rejection is not a projection of future failures. So she's saying, don't see anything as like a permanent hindrance, right? Like don't park at the point of your pain. The second thing was, this is a short-term setback, not a permanent condition. Again, the analogy of the slingshot, yes, you're being pulled backwards. It doesn't make sense. Lord, why are you taking me back? But I think he does that sometimes, obviously for a reason. He has a plan. He knows what he's doing. So I have no doubts, you know, that We'll see my husband get pulled back, yes, initially, but then he's going to slingshot forward bigger and better than he ever could have imagined. The third thing that she pointed out to remember whenever you experience a rejection to me was the most compelling. She says there is usually some element of protection wrapped in every rejection. And it was like, sister, you like preach, you know, and she says, I can look back and see how God was allowing things to unfold the way they did for my protection. In his mercy, he allowed this. So that's everything that has been going on. My husband's actually upstairs right now opening up his computer. He said he's going to call his contact in Wyoming and accept the job, which I think is great. I'm excited about it. Um, I think good things are definitely ahead for us. And then the next thing I hope to be updating you with is news that I did get that position I've been interviewing for. In the meantime, I ask that you all please just continue with your prayers, wisdom, uh, prayers that we stay rooted in hope and trust and faith in God that he is leading us. I think he is demonstrating that. Oh, also keep me in prayer too. Hopefully this is the end of whatever this is. Um, I would definitely appreciate some expedited healing for sure. But in any event, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you're having a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.